see it. Daniel, does your God get ready? Daniel didn't complain about his economics. Daniel didn't say, I haven't worked in three months. He just gave him the sacrifice of praise. Daniel didn't say, when I tried to do the study, didn't nobody come. Daniel just gave him praise. He didn't say, when I called for prayer meeting, nobody came. When I put on my program, nobody came. When I tried to do good, nobody helped me. He did not use the same excuse of that man that was at the pool for 38 years. Do you want to be healed? Do you want to be delivered? And the man said, I want to be. But every time I hear the preacher, somebody gets in front of me. When the preacher prophesies, I'm sitting there wondering, is that really me? Is that really the Lord? You know, I don't want to be fooled. I know I told the Lord that if he wanted to touch me, call my name. He called my name Alice. But there's three Alice's in here. And I wanted him to call my whole name. As a matter of fact, he could call my nickname. And that way I really know it's God. Alice Faye is my middle name. But Putin is my nickname. So if the Lord say your name is Alice and your nickname is Putin, then I come up there. And we sit back in the back waiting for God to do something special. When God keeps sending an angel to stir up the water, but we keep making excuses. We're sitting right at the edge, on the edge of a promise that God has promised us. God has promised to make us ahead and not the tail. God has promised to make us above and not beneath. God has promised to make us a limb and not to borrow. But we've been listening to the television. We've been listening to the doctor's report. Charles Craig's dead, had pneumonia in his body, began to seek the Lord. God. God ain't got no money to go to no doctor, right. but I need you yeah. to heal me. Right. I gotta go to the church that you sent me to and be the pastor. The Lord told him, go to the kitchen, go to the meal barrel, get that coffee cup that you like so much. Take the coffee cup, put it in the meal, and sit there and eat some dry meal. He thought about it for a moment. Thank you, God. But he obeyed. What choice do I have? Don't have no money to go to the doctor. Don't have no money to get no antibiotics. All I have is faith in God. All I have is a relationship. And the wonderful thing about those fellas is that they knew the voice of God. So he obeyed. He sat there eating dry meal with a runny nose. Eating dry meal with a chest congestion. Eating dry meal with a head congestion. And while he was in the spirit of obedience, it wasn't the meal, but it was the obedience. God took the meal and began to turn it into medicine. While he sat there, his head began to clear up. While he sat there, the sinus began to clear up. While he sat there, his congestion began to clear up. And then God said, testify of my healing. Testify of my deliverance. Nobody. God, heal 
Jesus. We won't 